Hello everyone, my name is Iceman, and today we are going to be playing Across the Obelisk. Uh, this time I am going to be mainly focusing on our other scout, Andrin, uh, since we just did a little brief overview of him, uh, and Magnus. Uh, those are the two I believe I did a, a little overview on. Let's see here. So I already have a team selected that I want to do for this um, with Andrin. I plan on going uh, Mark on him and of course with Magnus I plan on doing the repeat bleed on him. Uh, let us just grab a chest so we have room plus the build's going to be kind of expensive so let's just quickly do this part and then I'll go over their decks marked. I think I need to upgrade that. No, it's all good. Um, let's see here. I'm going to upgrade these scroll of intellects to be a draw card. So it's just a free draw. We're going to upgrade this to repeat three. I think that'll be fine. And then Malaka, we're just going to make everything a little cheaper for her. And these burn. Andrew and I already have set up. Uh, we'll get this adrenaline. Yeah, let's just do it. We have the shards. Okay. So let's go over the decks right here. So here's Magnus' deck. Uh, of course, like I said, we're going to be focusing on repeat cards. And we're going to try to get a lot of intimidates to help with the, the marks and add vulnerabilities on them. That's where we keep the captain's house as well. Cornelius, uh, we're just going to be trying to do a bunch of AoE damage uh, since they're all going to have a lot of mark on them. Malaka, kind of same thing, at least with these two right here. Uh, but she's just going to be adding dark charges to heal if we need it. And then Andrew, this is how we're going to start our mark deck. We will change it up a little bit later uh, once we level up his traits. As far as items go, we are going to have pets this time. I'm going to have Asmody for Andrin. Uh, we're going to go Betty for Malacca. Cornelius is going to have Flamey. Magnus is going to have Leonti. Yeah, I think we'll just stick with that for now. And no items are good for us. Uh, we're going to kind of just speed through this. Uh, Mark is extremely effective so let's go with that we're gonna get the royal coin for Magnus just to make it everything a little cheaper um, we go through the hatch a lot and it's because I want items we're gonna go through the hatch again I think I don't know we'll see so first thing let's add all these marks on everybody it's just all monsters, right? Uh, we'll hit the back guy for that. So right now we have all this mark. As you can see, it's plus eight damage charge. That spider just did 14 damage. Just to give an idea, his bite usually does six. So we got an extra eight out of that, right? And that's all because of mark. Now we're adding some uh, vulnerability on there so they're going to be taking even more damage and look at this carnage it should just start annihilating quick easy I don't really need anything we could go down for a change yeah let's go down we're going to do the old gran uh, granary so Let's do that. Uh, an old granary, you notice that a nearby granary has the door open and some strange noises come from it. Uh, when you look inside, you discover some farmers wandering aim aimlessly. In, in them, you can clearly see a strange flower grappling their hearts. It seems that those infected by the flowers have no way to turn back to normal. Uh, we're just going to kill them. Uh, try to gain advantage in combat, but you know, we're going to actually ambush. I thought about just rushing in, but 90% is really good. All right. Nice. And we got some stuff I'm not going to be using. But we got gold. 
And let's continue on. And again, get all monsters mark. Hit the back more. Okay, let's just hit that. You know what? Let's do this again. And they're dead. Like I said, super effective. Mark is just incredibly strong right now. I'm not sure if they'll nerf it in the future. Uh, they tend to do that if something's a little overpowered. Bandit Patrol, you have reached crossroads to the north path leads to the old watchtower. To the south path leads you to bridges that cross the river. On the south path, you can see two werewolves patrolling. Look at, looking at their clothes, you can see that they're bandits and they're up to no good. If you want to go south, you'll have to deal with them. And yes, we will. There's only two. I think they summon stuff. I can't remember. Uh, either way, let's just apply all this mark on them and see if we can just kill them. One down and two down. They like said the repeat cards on Magnus, like. Any warrior actually is just really strong. They're not that high cost, so might as well use them. Anything cool? Piggy bank, piggy bank, piggy bank, piggy bank. Pebble for now. Uh, just so you, in case you didn't know what the pebble does, um, it casts pebble throw. So just deals for piercing damage at the beginning of the turn. We don't need any of that. More detections. I typically like to hit the back with the um, the mark or as much as I can. Uh, let's even it out. All right, so we got the front guy dead. And now they're really weak to fire, so Cordelia should easily clean them up. Let's do that first. And done. Um, I kind of want to see what we got there in this werewolf stall. 90%, let's do it. And we leveled. We should have been leveled already by the time we got here, uh, if we went the right path. If you can go in the cellar, way cheaper. All right, so I went wolf guard to get the block. I, like I said in my overview, I really like that for Magnus. I, I think follow up is just a waste of a card. Uh, Hellflame, I'm going with Cornelius just because when I draw it, I can deal even more damage three times for the next three spells. It has more fire. Uh, with Yin Ritual, I like to or I like to go this path with her, Yin Ritual, because I'm applying Dark, which means they get uh, my heroes will get regen. And then Andrin, like I said, we're going Mark this time around. Uh, just showing how powerful it is. So this will give us more mark charges as well as when we play a card, we add extra mark. Um, every turn? Sure. For now, we're going to get into this rare equipment shop. I'm hoping later on we'll get a pet upgrade because Asmodee, when you upgrade this one, um, it can affect all monsters, what he just did to this dryad here. Let's add everything, give that one equal amount. There we 
skill. Slow them. Add more. Here we go. And let's see if we can just kill her. Done. Nothing we... You know what? We'll do Cup of Death on her. So now instead of 25 dark charges uh, where it normally explodes, it's going to explode on 16. So it deals 32 dark. We're going to try to just apply most of the block on the back guy, since that's the only person we really need to kill. Uh, Nielmer. Um... Sure. Malaka might get to play this round. Let's just kill her with the free card. And as you can see, it's repeat three that upgrade, so let's get hit four times. But didn't even need that. And that is act one. That's how quick it is. Oh, we'll get that, get that, upgrade those. Anything good? Nothing we need. All right, so for this to be pretty effective, uh, we are gonna be going the red route first. Uh, so Andrew can get the Hellblade, which gives um, mark charges on damage hit. But uh, that will be the end of this episode. I do apologize for it being a little quick, um, but like I said, it's this build is gonna be super effective. Uh, it's pretty much gonna be like this the rest of the way. But please stay tuned. I uh, hope you're enjoying it so far. If you are, please like, subscribe. Uh, definitely would love some comments. Uh, like some interaction here. And take care. Bye.